Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins. Thank you for joining me with Back Talk today. I am um, so excited to bring you this episode. This is one that I love to talk about. We um, have you've seen all of these different shows. We talk about different highlights, and um, today we're going to bring it all together for you. One of our best events. We just came off of it in October. The Taste. I hope some of you were there. We had over 400 people at the Burlington Marriott, 25 different restaurants, all of our great sponsors, the Reserve doing our VIP room, and people like Reimer and Bronstein and the Boston Burlington Marriott being premier sponsors for us. We are excited to take you down there, see a few highlights, and um, you can get firsthand. If you didn't get to taste it, you'll get to view it. Join us at the Taste right now, and I'll be right back. Great turnout, another great event. Um, you know, we have 25 plus local restaurants that have put out a great show for all of us, and we're super excited to be hosting again this year with the Chamber. You know, it's just another great event for the community of, of Burlington and the surrounding areas to be part of, to experience great restaurants. We'll do, we just did, we called it the, um, uh, the Challenge of Burlington, where we blind tasted a number of different uh, wines to pick the best ones that people thought you know they were tasting uh, to have a champion. And we brought some of those with us tonight for the crowd to try out. What we're featuring is uh, what we call our Sushi Celebration Family Pack. Um, that's available every single day for all of our customers. Uh, but we're also featuring it in our catering magazine. Um, so if you guys are looking for something uh, simple and easy, we're the place to go. We have all those catering needs. Well, one of the things is, you know, with the Capitol Group, we love being part of the Burlington community. We love being a part of the Burlington Chamber. You know, they're always there for us, and it's just one of the best communities I've ever worked with. And we, we love doing this event. This is one of the best events of the year. The Taste of Burlington it doesn't get much better. We're excited about tonight, absolutely. And can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to serve? We are serving our one of our actually one of our most popular appetizers. They're actually a buffalo chicken taquito uh, with a special uh, chipotle aioli served over the top. Yeah, and it actually, uh, I think that the people are really going to enjoy it tonight. So, Chef has um, tonight are his house-made cavatelli pasta, which he makes in house every 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 day essentially. It's butternut squash. It's finished with a little bit of butternut squash sugo some mushrooms and then shaved Brussels sprouts. I mean, you've got a great turnout and the amount of restaurants that we have now, because Burlington's had such, such tremendous growth, is great. I mean, it drives lots of people out, which is good. I hope you enjoyed those highlights as much as I did. Watching them over again just made me remember how full I was from that. Don't worry if you missed it. It happens every year with the Chamber. The restaurants are always glad to be there and we are always glad to bring them there. Thank you again to all the sponsors who did it. Um, one person asked me once who my favorite restaurant was, and I promise that I never have a favorite with so many great things in Burlington, but we do want to highlight somebody for you again this evening. If you had seen it before, you are going to get to view it again. Um, Landana's on Cambridge Street is known for its, for its very great meals that you can have, but I'm not sure that everybody knows all the great things that happen in the bar there. Monday nights are oyster nights. And not only does Landana's do great steak and seafood, but if you catch them on a Tuesday night, you are going to get to have a burger at the bar. Join me now at Landana's on one of our chamber spotlights and take a look first class on what Chef did that evening. Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins here with Chamber Spotlight. This is our special foodie segment. Today we are at Landana's. Every Tuesday night at the bar at Landana's, they do a featured burger, and today we are gonna get to go inside the kitchen and meet Chef Alex and watch him firsthand make a delicious burger for us to taste. We're gonna start, we're gonna start grilling our burger. So in this mix I have here today, I got 85% beef, and then I got like 50% fat. All right, so talk to me about this wood grill versus charbroil. You can't really compare wood grill with a charbroil. Right. I feel like flavor-wise, you don't get uh, that wood, that smoke out of the charbroil as you do from the wood grill. Okay. So that's unique taste. So this is my house cured bacon, pork belly. Okay. And this is my honey, Landana's honey glaze, which I just made. 
it's remarkable because it's a multi-step process. Like you said, it's, it's like prepping a fine meal, right? You got to think about a lot of steps. You got to do just one burger. It's actually got a following. Doesn't that make you, isn't that a nice thing to know that people start to know that it's, they're coming in on Tuesday nights for your burgers? It's awesome. It's, it's, a, awesome. Good, it's a good feeling for us. Right. What do you have in there? So these are my bourbon caramelized onions. I just add a little chicken stock into it. And for those who don't know, um, the honey at Landana's is also from here. It's from the building itself. Yes. It has um, hives, beehives. We got the beehives, yes. That's right. And the honey comes in that you use in-house for all of your different recipes in, at Landana's. What do you think the best temperature is on a burger, you personally, when you order a burger? For me, it's got to be, for me, it's got to be medium rare. Me too. All right, go ahead. Right now, we're just going to put some cheese. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes so I, you know, got the right temperature. So that's going to be my bacon for the burger. Okay. I'm going to cut my potato by now. So you can see how the cheese is melting now. Yeah. This beauty is ready. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to put a little caramelized onions on top of the burger. So we cut this the night before. So I use the wood burr for the plating. That's my, uh, of course, the garlic and bacon. Beautiful. Aioli. It's actually a lot of work to get one burger done. Yes. Multi-step. These are my house made pickles, English cucumber, and uh, shallots. So these are fresh. I made them like half hour ago. Beautiful. Oh, here comes the ketchup. Let me ask you a question. Yes. What do you think of ketchup? What do I think about ketchup? <laughs> yeah, it seems like such a, you know, like everybody has to have ketchup, but you're not going to put ketchup on that, right? It's for, your, it's for the fries, or do people add it in? I personally don't like ketchup. If I had a uh, if I had a really good burger like this one, and I got really good fries, I don't think it needs the ketchup. But I respect some people want the ketchup. We just do a little rosemary sea salt on top of them and plate it. That's it. That's Tuesday night's burger, and that's, that's it. Beautiful, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. about the Tuesdays. Yep. Because um, what drove Landanis to think about, you know, doing a burger night in a, you know, in a restaurant like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it comes down to, again, being approachable. So, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like a great burger? Um, I know there's very few that don't. And I think that Chef has really tried to kind of create kind of a following. Yeah. Um, every week it's something different. Um, he takes a lot of time and dedication to create something new and exciting. And Tuesday nights are the only nights you right. get a burger at Landana. So, yep. And come um, early because we do sell out. Where do you see the rest of the week going? You think you're going to build out the bar a little bit more? Yeah, we're really trying to every night kind of create a following here in the bar because it does, like you said, have such a different feel and I yes. think it has such a great feel. Um, so we're really trying to, you know, kind of build that following. So every night of the week, during the week, we're going to try to have something different that we're marketing. So stay tuned to social media. The biggest thing is, is it's just, you know, getting people through the doors and sometimes they'll come in and, you know, they'll, they'll come in and think they want the burger and then they'll look at the rest of the menu and, or hear another special and they get something else. So, yeah. you know, it's just about, you know, driving that business in here, letting people know that we're approachable and, you know, you can just come in and after, after work and have a, lo a lovely experience and Absolutely. not feel committed to an entire evening. Absolutely. Well, thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, you're if welcome. You Thanks for coming. If you have this, um, you got to do a burger at Lentana's on Tuesday. I assure you it's one of the best burgers I've ever had. I hope you'll join Landana's on Tuesday nights at the bar. Make sure you come early. They sell out. It was one of the best burgers I've ever had. For Chamber Spotlight, I'm Sonia Rollins. I hope you enjoyed seeing that a second time. I know sometimes we have seen those before, but it is never hard to watch Landana's pieces over and over again. Everybody always thinks of them as um, a great place to have a special occasion. But don't forget the burger at the bar because it's available every Tuesday night. And if you really have to know what kind of burger you're going to have that evening, they start to prep it on social media the day before. Or really, I think that afternoon you'll know what chef's making. Now. Everybody knows that the Chamber highlights all their great restaurants. We have so many that are available to us in Burlington. But we also have other great members in our 
base and within Burlington, one of which is AFC. AFC has been um, in the Burlington community for five years. They are celebrating their five-year anniversary. And healthcare is not how it used to be. And it's really a great way to sit down, take a tour of AFC, and hear firsthand from them how dedicated they are, not only to serving the people of Burlington, but for serving the community at large. A look at AFC, Urgent Healthcare. Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins for Chamber Spotlight. Today we are at AFC Urgent Care at 90 Middlesex Turnpike in Burlington. They are celebrating five years in the community and we are thrilled to come in, get a back look at some of the ins and outs that goes on within this great clinic that people have come to know as a place to go for so many different varieties of healthcare reasons. Join me inside. We're really excited because for Chamber Spotlight today, we're going to be able to take a tour of inside AFC, although I assure you many of people have probably already come in here for the great service. So ladies, if you'll introduce yourself for me, please. My name is Shannon Connolly, and I am the Business Development Manager for AFC Urgent Care. Great. Hi, my name is Lindsay Curlow, and I am the Regional Practice Manager for AFC Urgent Care. Awesome. Lindsay and Shannon are going to take us through. They're going to show us. We're going to talk to a few people here. And um, Chamber Spotlight today is all about quick and good service in the healthcare industry. People are coming in, of course, and they're seated. This is your waiting area. Yes. So you come in as a patient. You can see your beautiful, well-lit, nice and clean waiting area yeah. with magazines that are not super old, as you typically see in a doctor's office. Exactly. Quick registration process up front. And then it's your turn to wait. We have coffee, tea, water. Um, all obviously free for patients while they wait. Your wait time is not a long wait time. On, on a good day, the promise is you're in and out, if you can, inside within an hour's and about time. about an hour. Right? Yep. So a typical wait time is about 10 minutes. Right, which is fantastic. And then for those of us, like myself, who sometimes get a little antsy and think, I wonder how close I am, you also have the screen, which kind of tells people where, they're, where they are in the queue. Being out here. All right, we're going inside. So you know what I think is really interesting is I think when people come into something like AFC, they don't envision that there's a lab or there's x-ray or anything like that in here. So in the back, there is all of that. So people can actually come here, get lab work done, and get their x-ray done if they think. Exactly. So we can do a lot more than most people think. This is our in-house lab. We do um, all types of rapid testing, things that patient want in patients want answers to immediately. So strep, flu, mono, we do a rapid HIV and a rapid hep C test in this lab as well. order x-rays during all hours that we're open. We don't have special x-ray hours or anything like that. So every day, 8 to 8, if you need a chest x-ray, we can definitely order an x-ray for you right here. All right, so how many exam rooms are there at AFC? So we have nine exam rooms yeah. um, in this location and just over 3,000 square feet. Okay, great. And in an exam room, obviously, um, the patient comes in. We all know what happens in here, right? But um, you have all of them are set up similarly. I mean, when you're put into a room, are they put in for certain reasons? Nope. So every room that we have in our facility is exactly the same. Um, it keeps us really efficient. Our staff doesn't have to worry about what room they're in, where the supplies that they need are. Every room is set up and organized exactly the same. We are here with Dr. Oreo. Dr. Oreo, if you could tell us your title for AFC. My name is Christina Oreo, and I'm the medical director for AFC Urgent Care in six locations. Your history as a physician, you obviously were a physician before. Where were you before you came to AFC? So I'm trained in emergency medicine. I'm board certified in that specialty, and um, I've worked in many community settings, community hospitals, most recently at South Shore Hospital before coming here. And then prior to that, I was in the military, so I was an Air Force emergency medicine physician for many years. Sometimes people have different thoughts about urgent care. When when is it urgent care and when should they be calling their doctor? Can you can you kind of touch on that like what you've seen the evolution over time with AFC in general, you know, or just the urgent care in general and then where AFC fits into that picture? Sure. So here at AFC Urgent Care, we see all non-life-threatening illness and injury, and we play a very important role uh, in community medicine. So patients often uh, make routine appointments to see their primary care physicians and then sometimes have acute problems but can't get in to see their primary care physicians. And so we fit into that role, um, and then we're an intermediary between the emergency department and primary care. We treat a lot of the same things that can be seen in the emergency department at a fraction of the cost and in a much quicker manner, more efficient manner. So for example, a laceration, if somebody has a hand laceration or an extremity laceration, 
they might wait in the emergency department for six to eight hours to be seen for that you know, relatively minor injury that we can see here and handle very effectively. The other thing that I think is really great to tell the community is you can also do the physicals, physicals for sports, physicals for schools, things like that. That is something that people can come to at AFC, correct? That's exactly right. So we do physicals all the time, particularly right before the school season starts and sports season starts. So we can do them for pediatric patients and we can do them for adults who are doing physicals for routine employment or just their routine physical as well. How have you seen the transition from going from an emergency room physician to coming to AFC? So uh, I've actually been doing this now for six years, yes. six years actually today, yeah. uh, since Happy I've, thank you, yeah. since I've left the emergency department yeah. and I've watched this transition uh, in the community over the last six years. Six years ago, nobody really knew what urgent care was, what we could do, what we could handle, and now we are a household name for many people, and many of the uh, patients in the community really rely on us for both their routine and acute care. And so it's been fascinating for me to watch that transformation, and I think what people need to know is that we can really handle uh, many, many medical conditions here. We can save you time, we can treat you effectively and efficiently um, for you and your whole family. Yeah, and you know, if anybody has any questions about that, I, I would say you could call AFC and just ask the question before you get here because you nailed it. I think people now are very much familiar with what AFC is, but in the beginning it was hard for them to decipher where that fits into the mix, and really it fits in every aspect of, um, of health care. Dr. Wario, thank you very much for joining us. Take care. We're really excited to be here for Chamber Spotlight because I think everybody knows the name AFC. You know, it's certainly become a family name in town. Everyone knows what they can come here for, but it's nice to see the behind the scenes thing. So, you know, a day in the life of Shannon, what do you do here when you're in, when you're in the office? So my title is business development manager. Not a lot of people know what that means. Yeah. I'm kind of in charge of all of the community outreach. Um, you might have seen me at like local events, yes. Burlington Day. Uh, we sponsor quite a few 5Ks, um, the PMC Kids Ride in Burlington. Right, which just happened. That went really well, I hear. Yes, yes, yeah. it was super well attended. We love to sponsor and support the communities that we operate in. Um, along with that, I'm also in charge of the occupational medicine visits here. Uh, that includes drug screening, breath alcohol testing, pre-employment physicals for companies that need to get their employees tested before they start work. It's fantastic. And, and when we talk about community outreach, you guys really take that. 110 percent. So some people talk about wanting to be involved in the community, wanting to do things. Um, you kind of, the company as a whole, have kind of just hugged that whole philosophy, you know, and you've taken it on both on the chamber side and for um, just Burlington committees and things like that. Everywhere you turn, you see AFC, which speaks a lot to the corporate climate and speaks a lot to what the management team thinks about giving back to communities they they live in, correct, or they work in, I should say. So, okay, we have business development, we do a lot of the outreach, we talk about, you know, what happens with the companies, and then Lindsay, there's the operation side of it, which is all day, every day, right? So it talk is, a bit about is. that as well. So my job is kind of just to make sure that the clinics are running smoothly. So to make sure that patients are having a good experience, um, that our staff is having a good, good experience. We love employing people from our communities. We love making sure that they have a nice place to work. Um, and it's kind of my job to make sure that everything runs smoothly to make sure that that can happen. Um, if patients ever have any concerns or issues or anything that they want to talk about, they have a face that they can come to. So they have a local person who they'll see at Burlington Day, they'll see at Truck Day, and then if they have a question or a problem, they can come to me. They know my name. Uh, a lot of patients have my email address and my number, and I encourage them to contact me directly. Um, and I, I really think that's important that patients know that we're not just a big corporation. We're a locally owned business who really has a lot of pride. It's a great resource. If you were going to give somebody a message, just in general, about AFC, what would you say? It's very convenient. We're always here for you. We're a locally owned and operated business, and come right in. We'd love to take care of you. Perfect. <laughs> Lindsay, you want to add? Sure, I can just say that we have been here every day for the last five years supporting the community, um, making sure that any ask of us we've done our best to try to fulfill and that we're an amazing community partner and we're not just here for um, you know, the benefit of what we can get, we want to give back. So Perfect.
It's been a, it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, we've treated over 100,000 patients in this location, uh, and we're we're so proud to be able to do it. 100,000 patients with an average wait time of about eight minutes, average door to door time of well under an hour, 48 minutes. It's unbelievable. I've told you, I'm like a poster child for that. I would vouch for you 110% that you are in and out of here. It's actually quite amazing. W thanks. We, we love to say that we, we hope we never have to see you, but if we do uh, have to see you, we are by far the most affordable, efficient, and convenient opportunity for option for healthcare in the market. We have board certified providers. We're here open every single day of the year, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, and we've been open every single day for five years. We have not closed our doors and we're, uh, we're, we're thriving and we're growing and we're really happy to be able to support the community of Burlington. It speaks in volumes to you. Let's talk about your staff because obviously your staff is fantastic yeah. and the work that they do here. So like you said, certified um, professionals who are doing their job in here. How many, you always have a doctor on staff from eight to eight? We, we always have a provider. Okay. Might be a, a, a physician assistant, it yeah. might be a nurse practitioner. Uh, oftentimes it's a, a physician, a doctor. Okay, great. And you're always, x-rays are always available. Lab work is always available yep. during your hours. That's right, lab and x-rays available. We're here, we treat high acuity, non-life-threatening conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, and patients have been asking us in this community to, if we can be their healthcare home, if we can offer primary care, and we are rolling out primary care this fall. So we're really happy to introduce primary care services for the community of Burlington uh, in the fall of 2019. That's actually big news. It's really big news. Yeah. It's really big news. We're also offering immigration physicals. Uh, a lot of the local companies uh, have folks who are, are going through the immigration process, and we're here for to provide those immigration physicals, and we're the only folks in Burlington who provide those immigration physicals. That's amazing. Now, um, so you talk about primary care rolling out, which is huge, mm -hmm. which leads me to the next question about insurance. So, you know, tell people who are watching insurance here. You you accept all the major insurances. There is no discrepancy between going here or going to the hospital, for example. Not just all the major insurances. We accept all insurances. We're okay. contracted with 18 different plans. Even if you're out of network with an out-of-state plan, we will accept that insurance and work with that out-of-state insurance. We're contracted with Medicaid, with MassHealth, with Medicare, and then all of the private insurances. So there is no reason someone couldn't come here to get their, to get a service done. They should not be worried about the insurance portion no, of it. Not at all. Not at all. For Also for occupational medicine or workers' comp, someone gets hurt on the job, uh, we can process that here, treat them here, get them the care they need. Uh, or if someone needs uh, uh, to be drug tested for a pre-employment physical before they can go get a job, uh, we do occupational medicine services here too. Give us your experience in Burlington. You know, what's it been like? What have you seen over the last five years in the change of the Burlington climate? Uh, well, first of all, Burlington has been amazing and we work in towns all, all over the country. Uh, we work in a lot of towns here in the in the Boston market yeah. uh, and Burlington is a very special town. It's unique. It, it was very welcoming to us from the the moment we opened our doors five years ago. The Chamber, uh, the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce is so strong here uh, that we've really gotten to be involved with the Chamber and with the community and supporting other businesses and supporting the, the members of the community through the Chamber. Um, and we have been welcomed as a result and I think we've been rewarded as a result of our commitment to the community. People see that. They come in our doors and say, hey, I saw you at the local uh, truck uh, show or I saw you at the local uh, the farmer's market and we, they want to help us. And we want to help them. Your background says that service comes first and talk a little bit about sure. that. Sure, uh, th and thank you for bringing that up. So I was a Marine officer for about a decade. I uh, was really proud to, to serve our country. Our medical director, uh, Dr. Oreo, uh, was an Air Force officer also for about a decade. Uh, she was a battlefield uh, trauma ER doctor. Uh, and together we believe in sense to service uh, to something greater than oneself. Um, so we give back a lot. We've built a lot of personal relationships in the Burlington community and we're here to stay and we love this place and we're, we're not uh, we're not going anywhere and we're here to support the community. I love it. So AFC, congratulations again. Dave Adams on five years in Burlington and on your six locations. Thank you. And continued success. Thanks so much, Sonia. Thank, Thank you. I'm so glad you had the opportunity to take a tour with me inside AFC Urgent Care today. Again, located at 90 Middlesex Turnpike in Burlington. They have been here open 8 to 8 every day for the past five years and doing a great service for the community. Make sure you um, feel free. As Dave Adams said, he hopes he never sees you, but if you need to come, they are here for you and um, doing a great job both for the healthcare industry and for the community at large. For Chamber Spotlight, I'm Sonia Rollins.
Thank you to Dave Adams and his team for letting us into the back and seeing AFC firsthand. It again confirms what great work they're doing both in the healthcare service industry as well as for the community at large. Congratulations to them on five great years of service. And thank you all for joining me on Back Talk today. We got to highlight some real great food. We got to talk about some real good health care. And oh, by the way, 2020 is around the corner. Save the date for the black tie for our charitable foundation, which is scheduled at the Crown Plaza January 25th, a Saturday evening. Ladies and gents, put your best clothes on. We are looking forward to raising money for our nonprofit organizations. Thanks for joining me this evening, and I hope to see you again soon. We'll see you in December's Back Talk. For Back Talk, I'm Sonia Rollins.
Saturday, January 25th. Save the date, grab your tickets, go to the website. You don't want to miss it. Put on your best clothes, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tuxes out. Um, it is a night you don't want to miss. Thank you again for joining me this evening. That, that. So, so friggin' close. All right, one more time. Here we go.